and welcome back to Shroud of the Avatar. My name is Caballero and currently I'm in Soul Town and I'm going to continue talking to the people of Soul Town. The reason why I want to talk to the people is to get information and probably get new tasks, missions or quests. Let's look for someone to talk to. So we have here Emma. Let's talk to Emma. Good day my lord, I'm Emma and I tend bar around these parts. Can I get you something? Not unless you can introduce me to a handsome soldier from Ardoris. Wow. So Emma is looking for a husband. Ah, the Isle of Eternal Dawn. One day I'll meet a strong handsome soldier from Ardoris and he'll wish me away to my happy ending. So Emma is just repeating what she said before. So let's talk to this guy here. I'm trying to sleep. Come see me later. Okay, so the innkeeper is trying to sleep, but uh, he looks awake to me and he is standing up. So I guess this guy sleeps standing up. So let's talk to the innkeeper. Who are you? I'm Richard and I'm the innkeeper here. My name is Caballero. Excellent to meet you, Caballero. Help. We don't have much call for adventurers here in Sol Town. You might want to ask around in Solanya or Ardoris. Oh, I'm sure many places have call for brave adventurers, but life is good here in Sol Town. We don't have many problems worth mentioning. Sol Town? Sol Town is where you are now, of course. It's a nice, quiet village. We stay out of the affairs of others and as soon as those refugees clear out, things will get right back to normal. Shame that those people lost their home. We had to step up and help, of course, but eventually they will have to find some place to call home. Okay, so here we have another uh, person. So let's talk to refugee. I'm trying to sleep. Come see me later. What? Who are you? My name is Porto, formerly of Solas Bridge. So this guy is Porto. It is good to make your acquaintance even in times such as this. Solas Bridge? It was very much a near thing, my getting out. Had to leave everything in my shop behind. We had no warning before the undead had stormed through the gates and were destroying and burning everything. I've never seen such, I tell you. Most of us fled through the south gate before the undead blocked, uh, blocked that escape as well. As for the rest, I can only hope they hid and waited out the attack. I hear Edward is still there, keeping an eye open for survivors. I won't be returning though, there's nothing for me there. Shop? I hope you do not mean to mock me. All I had for sale is in Solace Bridge now. What little is left of it? If you find anything of worth, you are free to take it. If you find anything of worth, you are free to take it, I suppose. Though the undead that are its new owners may see fit to object. What good is a shopkeeper without a shop? No, I'll be waiting here for things to calm down then leaving with a caravan to Ardoris. I'll rebuild my life there. Ardoris is a city of eternal dawn and my life could use a new sunrise. There is much commerce that goes on within its walls. I work hard and I know the value of a coin so I feel I can put my life back together there even though I'm currently a refugee. I expect you will be doing what you can. I do not expect you to improve my fortunes like others might. I make my own way in life. Just help all of us with the threat of the undead and you will be helping me as well. I did not spend a good deal of time taking the undead's measure. They may be why I am alive and all too many are not. I have many friends littering the streets of Solace Bridge. I hope you did not shame yourself by rubbing their corpses. What? And here we have another person. So let's talk to Japat. Hello, I'm Japat. I come in most every night to listen to the boards that Richard brings in. It's caused me to think quite a bit of love, actually. Boards? I must admit, these boards woke something up in me I never even knew was there. I realized there was a hole in me deep enough 
to plant an entire orchard in. And just like the bards say, that hole can only be filled with love. Thing is, love was there all along, right in front of me, and I didn't even know it. Serving me my ale night after night, I'm in love with Emma, the barmaid. The worst part is, she doesn't even know I'm alive, lest I'm putting in a drink order. A tragic love story. I even wrote her a poem to try and tell her about my feelings, but I don't have the nerve to give it to her. Like I said, tragic. Poem? You want to read my poem? I've never shown it to anyone before, but oh, why not? And I could never give it to Emma. What if she laugh at me? I would be devastated. I'm just not that brave, not like you. Hey, maybe you could give it to her for me. I should give Emma this love poem and see if she feels the same way about Japet. You received an item, Japet's poem. And I'm going to try and give the poem to Emma, but where the hell is Emma? Emma disappeared. My guess is Emma is upstairs. Let's see if I can find Emma. Emma, are you here? So who is this person? Uh, it's Ashton. So I'm trying to look for Emma. And who is this guy? Let's talk to this guy. I'm trying to sleep. Come see me later. Who are you? I'm Stan Clark. Entertainer at your service. So this guy is Stan Clark. In my travels, I have heard the undead are restless of late. You should ask around our doors of this, I would imagine. Travels? Like many bards, I move from town to town, entertaining whomever will listen as I go. Bards? I, I am a bard. I sing to bring people a little enjoyment. I hope they and you find it enjoyable. Sing? I sing here for my day's repast and night's lodging. The innkeeper here encourages many bards to visit Sultan during their travels. Okay, so I'm going to find Emma. Maybe Emma is up here? Nope, Emma is not here. Okay, so so I got a poem uh, from Japet, and the poem is for Emma, but I can't find where Emma is. Obviously, this, that guy is not Emma. And this guy is not Emma, so let's talk to this guy. Oh, it's the Sultan Town Crier. So I don't need to talk to him anymore. Let's go down. Maybe Emma is down here. Nope, Emma is not here. And look at that, there is a door here. And it leads to the outside. Okay, so I'm going to enter this house. Because I'm looking for Emma. Maybe Emma is somewhere here. Ah, look at that. I see Anika. And I see Harry. Look at that. They are sleeping together. <laughs> no, not. Of course not. They're not sleeping together. They're just in the same uh, room. Okay, let's, let's go down. Again, I'm still looking for Emma. Hey, Emma, where are you? I'm sure Emma is somewhere here sleeping okay so that's portal that's not Emma so why I'm um, bothering people I have no idea because it's fun oh so this is the bar it's the bar so let's go here maybe I'll find Emma here let's look around there you go it's Emma so let's talk to Emma. Good day, my lord. I'm Emma and I tend the bar. Yes, I know. Here is the poem from Japet. Japet asked you to give me something. Yes, she did. And it's a poem. So we have here Japet's poem. So I'm going to give it to Emma. Give. He wrote me a love poem as if... I have my sights on bigger and better things than some farmer that has nothing better to do than spend his nights in here. One of these days, I'm going to catch the eye of a handsome Ardorius guard and he's going to whisk me away from this whole upper town. Ah, oh, that's so sad. 
so I gave the poem to Emma but I don't think Emma likes the poem. Anyway, I'm going to continue talking to the people of Soul Town in my next gameplay video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, then please like the video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're lagging, please use WT Fast to try to use... Also, if you are lagging, I suggest that you use WT Fast to try and... Um, what do you call this? Reduce your lag. Again, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.